Welcome back, folks. You're listening to Aging with Power on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. And uh, now we're going to shift gears a little bit. We are going to talk about an amazing organization here in the Santa Clarita Valley uh, and an upcoming fundraiser that is just less than three weeks away. Um, so joining me from Seroptimus International, the greater Santa Clarita Valley, is Lori tucci Oje. And Nicole Grohl of, um, well, Lori, you have a little shop over across the street called Via Tucci. Absolutely. And Nicole is a fitness enthusiast and she just probably, are you a trainer, Nicole? Yeah. Yay. Awesome. Well, anyway, let's, let's switch like here with give you my microphone and I'm going to switch a microphone over. Yay. Now we all have our own microphone. <laughs> so anyway, we, we've talked about Seroptimus. Uh, I know a lot of people know the Seroptimus, but give us kind of an overview. What are you, are you not hearing me, Justin? Okay. Give me an overview of what the Seroptimus are, what you're all about, what you stand for. Okay, well, Seroptimist is a woman's organization, a service organization, and this community is really fortunate. We have two Seroptimist groups that are both just really full of amazing ladies, and um, basically our mission is very simple. We try to help women and, ch and women and girls, not only globally, but within our own community. So we do a great deal of uh, fundraising, and then we use those funds that we raise to help women and, and girls organizations in a wide variety of ways. Um, and then beyond that, there's so many more things they do, like mentoring, scholarships, things like that. So they really are a, a very powerful, impactful group of ladies that are helping other women. That's an international group. It is an international group. Um, in fact, we've, we really represent on the map. We not only <laughs> have local members, we have regional members, we have national members, and then um, Sherry Fleming is just recently the past president of the International Seroptimist. So really, really are represented well in this community and really contributing on a high level. And where, does, where do the international meetings take place? You know, that's beyond me, but I, <laughs> I know Sherry like hit maybe four to five countries in a two-day span last wow. year. She was all over the map and, and presenting and, and participating and on our behalf somewhat, you know, always representing us, but, but really making an impact much further and wider. So when you guys raise the funds with these events that you have, I mean, how, how, how does that funnel down to empowering and helping women and young girls? Nicole just looks <laughs> I just brought her to look good on the radio. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, actually, we there's such a wide variety, but just a few examples would be we um, we share our funds with the Domestic Violence Center, Single Mothers Outreach, um, Sheila Velos. Henry Mayo, Lark Ranch. <laughs> yep, Henry yeah. Mayo, Lark Ranch, as she said. Um, uh, there's just a wide, wide variety that our funds go to. And then it, there is a pretty significant amount that we put into scholarships that empower young women. And, um, that have been through different scenarios in their life where they could use a hand up instead of a handout, and and they really are pretty amazing ladies that we're giving um, a little bit of a boost to further their education, further whatever their goals and desires are that they just could use a little bit more support with. Right. Well, this upcoming event that you have, <laughs> the fashion show, the annual fashion show. Tell right. us a little bit about that. Our annual fashion show, March 20th at the Hyatt. Yep. It is our sixth annual. It's always an amazing event. It's just so much fun. I think a lot of people think of it as a ladies' afternoon, but you can attest, Miles, there's a lot of men there because it is a lot of ladies. So if you are a smart man, <laughs> you may want to attend. But it is it is great. It's, it ranges everywhere from having a lot of vendors and boutiques set up. Um, there is always cocktails. And then as the actual event starts, it's just a beautiful, beautiful fashion show. So it gives you ideas, um, gives you just an apps, afternoon of entertainment. We have Lance Allen and, and Alicia um, being our MC, Alicia Humphreys, and it's it's just going to be a lot of fun to be in the room and enjoy it, and um, a wonderful lunch too. So there's well, one thing I want to stress because there is a male model part of this event, and has nothing to do with my strut. I know. <laughs> so basically, folks, that's part of the fundraiser for just a mere five dollars. You can go on uh, the website, uh, which is sigscv.org, and vote for your favorite Merrill model, as long as the name starts with Miles. Um, but seriously, that's that's a huge part of this fundraiser, is that folks can vote for the male model, $5 per vote, um, and all the funds go right to the Seroptimus. Yes, right. The male models are all competing each other, being the best male model this year. Yeah. Um, we are introducing every male model 
every day on our Facebook uh, page, on our website, and you can go online on our website and vote. Absolutely. You can vote for all of them. You can vote 20 <laughs> just for times miles. for just miles. <laughs> <laughs> you can vote, vote, vote. Yeah, it, it really is a huge added piece to the event. It br not only brought the men into, into the environment and, and really made it a, an event for everybody, but it, it helped us in advance of the event, kind of get the, get the motors running, get people excited. It's a healthy, fun competition between men in the community that are uh, well-known and really care about the community, such as Miles McNamara. Oh. One more shameless plug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, it really is simple. Like you said, go to the website and, and SIG, SCV, Dot org and and they're all listed there. There's some great pictures of these hot hot men that will be on our runway. You and also you, find them on Facebook and, and on, Facebook. on Twitter. So yeah, there's a wide variety of ways you can find find these guys. And five dollars is all we ask of you. But it, certainly, if you want to do multiple increments of five dollars, we are wide open to that as well. So you guys are <laughs> tweeting about us. We are. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so Daily. What, what, what are the other aspects of the fundraising uh, opportunities, though, for for the fashion show? I mean, it's not just the male model part. How how can anyone else participate or contribute? Right. Well, we have some amazing sponsors. Every year when we start well in advance, we have somebody who is really willing to step up above and beyond um, more than ever before. And this year it's Julie M. Sturgeon for her CPA organization our company and she is just she's been a Soroptimist for a long time she's a woman who helps every year in some way and in many different ways and this year she really stepped up to the top and is our title sponsor so we're really appreciative of her and that obviously is a big boost for us to, to hold this event and then we have different sponsors and it's appropriate that we have your palliative care people here because Henry Mayo every year is a, is a huge sponsor and they are again this year and we like to feel like they're a really good partner of ours because we then in turn can, can return some of those funds and help some of the things that they're doing in this community for women and girls. Um, the Paul A. Hughes Foundation with Red Fox and Pathways Thrivent um, with Jeff and Melanie Myers. There's, there's a long list, but those are some of our um, top sponsors that really give us the boost and the foundation we need to really make some good dollars out of this. But as you mentioned, there's a lot of different ways incorporated. We have an amazing silent auction that is just incredible. It's in the tens of thousands of value at this point. I mean, the, the things that they've collected, people in this community just keep giving and out of the blue offering. And so we think that will be a huge boost. We, as you said, raise money through the mail model and then the ticket the ticket prices. And we have so many people being creative and buying VIP tables um, so that then once they've got a VIP table, they can put a model on the runway. And that's a huge thing for a lot of people because it really is a fun, fun opportunity to showcase your business and help help a community organization. Awesome. Well, we're going to take our last break. When we come back, we'll uh, talk a little bit more about the fashion show, a little bit more about Sir Optimus, and a shout out to a special participant this year that you guys have walking the runway for you. So don't go away. You are listening to Aging with Power on your hometown station AM 1220 KHTS. Welcome back to Aging with Power on your hometown station AM 1220 KHTS. Uh, we are talking to Lori and Nicole of Seroptimist uh, for their upcoming fashion show on March 20th. Is that a Saturday or a Sunday? That's a Sunday. Sunday, March 20th at the Hyatt. I don't believe we've mentioned the location yet, have we? But I'm, it's the I'm Hyatt sure. Valencia from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., correct? Absolutely. The first little section is just boutiques and vendors, and then the luncheon and then the fashion show. Okay, and uh, we talked about what Seroptimists are and how they empower and educate uh, young women, but uh, this this event's kind of taken a special little angle this year because of, of, of someone, I'll let you take that, Nicole, of someone who's going to be participating. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Felicia? So, besides being a Seroptimist member, I'm also a volunteer for the American Cancer Society, and I'm very blessed that we found Felicia Lupo. She's going to be our American Cancer our society model. All the female models are doing a great job and are super excited, um, but we are thrilled that Felicia would like to be kind of our ambassador for the Look Good, Feel Better program, because Felicia got diagnosed with breast cancer last year, um, November, almost December. Um, right after her father died. Mm. Um, she is a nurse at Henry Mayo since over 16 years. And um, she, I just admire mm -hmm. <laughs> her self-esteem and, and her braveness for doing that. Mm -hmm. And um, when you meet her closer, you are really, yeah. Inspired. Inspired <laughs> by, by, by the way she, she really talks all about that. Mm -hmm. she, no, she's 
her statement is beauty comes from the inside and you just you just keep you just keep going yeah and um, yeah she encouraged everyone to um, to take a closer look at the program the look good feel better which is held at Henry Mayo it's an in-person workshop um, where volunteers from American Cancer Society teach the cancer patients um, all the appearance related side effects which come with your chemotherapy. Felicia is currently also in chemotherapy. Um, her last session will be right two days after our show. Um, so I think it's just amazing the, the statement she's going to be setting. So th there's an actual support group called the Look Good Feel Better program at Henry Mayo? Yes. Okay, I'm yeah. assuming that there would probably be information on that on the Henry Mayo website as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. Well, good for Felicia. We look forward to help seeing seeing her walk down the aisle on, on March 20th. Um, so, again, if people want more information, if they want to contact you guys, if that's possible, I mean, how does someone, uh, we mentioned the website, uh, ticket sales, what have you, how, how does someone get involved? Um, you can always go to the website, like you said, but we also have on our Save the Day, it's in anywhere, or if you happen to have a pen, the co-chairs of the event are myself, uh, Lori, and the phone number is 507-390-1999, and there's also my co-chair, Sue Twiddell, and I'd love to have you call her. <laughs> Just kidding. Sure. But her phone number is 661-373-42222. Okay? So either one of us would be happy to help you. We can always use help. We would love you to buy a ticket, buy a table. Yeah. Um, volunteer Best way to anyway. meet us. Yeah, we just come to the show and get to meet us. Yeah, yeah. it's actually a ton of fun. And you so guys sell like out every people. year, so don't wait, folks. If you want to, to attend, get on that website and buy as many tickets as you want. Right. But more importantly, go to the male <laughs> model section yes. and vote for and miles. Vote for miles as your favorite male model. It's only five dollars. I figure if every just each friend on Facebook gave me one vote. That's like six thousand dollars. Well, we wow. would take that. Yeah, you know? we're so, happy to hello. take. Hello. So I, I've got to get, get busy and, and and make that post and send out emails yeah, and start doing my fire job. Up your fans. I got to fire up the fan base. So the tickets do sell out typically every single year. So I would encourage people to go on the website really quickly. The voting for for miles will not run out until the day up. So you have plenty of time for that. Keep on rolling with those. And again, that's s i g s c v dot org. Correct. And the phone number is one more time. 507-390-1999. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so very much. Thank you, out. Miles. We appreciate it. Can't, and we should also, Jay David's involved again. You know, yes. we didn't mention we the didn't boutiques. Mention it's the a boutiques. great opportunity. Macy's. Many local boutiques in town, the small ones, like yeah. the real small community boutiques, along with our larger stores coming through Westfield. So, yes, Jay David is, has been a long and time. Via Tucci as well. And via Tucci, you, you're a shameless the plug. Together, right. <laughs> but, yeah, David has been with us since the very beginning and is always so accommodating to the male models. So when I open my own business, the first thing I, I promised myself were no more ties and no more suits. <laughs> but now I've got three of these gorgeous suits at home because every time I wear a J. David suit at this fashion You're show, I'm like, all right, yeah, you know what? Right, you know, yeah. Because he gives great discounts to the models and yeah. we buy the suits and I've got these three gorgeous J. David suits hanging in my closet and the ties give me a rash. I just, <laughs> I, you know, but he's got nice silk ties so I don't do that. But anyway, thanks, Lori. Thanks, Nicole. I appreciate it. Thank you thank very much. And uh, Lisa and Jennifer, thank you. The palliative thank care you. program at Henry Mayo hospital um, and again folks if you missed any part of the show go to hometownstation.com go to, to podcasts and go to aging with power you can listen to any one of our archive shows um, and especially today a lot of great information today uh, that does bring us to the end of our hour i told you to go fast right yeah, i mean yeah. it just it just flies by um, if you ever have a specific topic you'd like me to address please shoot me an email at miles with a y at comfortkeepers.com i'll make it happen i'll find the subject matter experts we'll address the concerns um, we are sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care. I'm Miles McNamara of Comfort Keepers in Home Care. And remember, folks, aging is not a disease. It's a journey. So do it with power.